What's up everybody, I'm Hex, welcome to another Benelord video. I hope you're doing great and let me waste no more time because we have a lot to cover today. This is a walkthrough for your first 50 days or so and will get us to clan tier 1 and our first mercenary contract. In the background are my starting options, copy them or at least make sure you have the plus 20 renowned one. I will show my perk choices as well as focus points and attributes distribution. We will pursue our goals that will set us up greatly for the later stages of the game. Speaking of goals, let's determine what we're going after in the early game. Perk wise, we absolutely want having going so we can score a hot wife easier. Then we need duelists to double the renown from tournament wins paired with self promoter for the plus 5 influence wins which will be converted to income once we are mercenary. We also want oratory for plus 1 renown for solving issues as early as possible. Raid investor from trading is key to power leveling our clan in the mid game so we need to actively start working towards it. Becoming the arena champion for plus 1 renown is also something we will be working towards. However, we will focus on that a lot more after we get geared and get mercenary contract for bigger efficiency. Apart from that, we will free our siblings and get married to strengthen our clan. Our early income will come partly from doing quests, so we need to roam around and look for the ones that are worthwhile. We need to keep an affordable party so we can start saving our money and invest it in caravans later. Now let's hop into day one and get started. But before that, quick message from the editor. Please like and subscribe. Arigato. You heard the lady. Click the bell icon too. Thank you very much. So we go straight to Poros and sell all our civilian gear and our melee weapon. Then we buy all the hogs and chop them up. Then sell the hides and meat to triple our money. Buy a bunch of more arrows. Then we check the leaderboards to see that we need 35 wins to become the champ. We need to increase our inventory space so we hire some peasants and start looking for some cheap horses and mules. Unfortunately the prices are a bit steep for our pocket so we decide to start moving towards the Aserai desert in hope for more affordable pack animals. On the way to Artesia we finally find a quest in the nearby village. It's one of the easier quests to do. Landowner needs manual labors. All we need to do is bring some prisoners. We get to work by killing nearby looters. It's a bit rough with no skill and trash starter bow, but we get things done. We spent our first focus point in medicine. We do some trading in Orticia and wait till the next day for our first tournament. In which we are victorious and win a Cossian noble male. Level 2 and 3 focus points go to bow and riding. 
we get deflect in one handed and well built in athletics. Then we're gonna sell the Kosian because we can't even use it anyway and we need the cash. Then we murder some more looters. On the way to the desert, we recruited some more meat bags to avoid hurt penalty once we have more horses. Yet another looter group fell, which leveled our bow and we got the headshot perk. In Quias, we did some trading which leveled us to 4. The attribute point went to endurance and focus point in athletics. On the way to the horse village, we discovered a bandit base. Short after, some desert bandits thought they can mess with us. And we clapped them. We carried on with our mission to buy horses for extra inventory space in the nearby villages. They were scarce, but good enough for our needs and definitely better prices than the Empire Lands. For our 25 riding perk, we chose Nimble Steed. Then we decided to grab a few soldiers on horses to improve our party speed. We started going north when we stumbled on another quest to train troops in the nearby village. We upgraded some of our troops so they get a shield and decided to go to the bandit hideout we found earlier. Get some easy loots from the bandits and also finish this quest quickly. Unfortunately, only two of the borrowed troops survived, so we sent them home. On the way north, we stopped at Quias for some trading and that leveled our trading. For 25 perk, we got Wholesaler. Our focus point went into bow. The fight at the hideout got our bow skills to over 30, so it was finally time to upgrade our bow. Using the simple short bow will feel like huge upgrade over the starter bow. Back in the Empire Lands, we could finally complete the quest we got earlier. In Legata, we signed up for a tournament, but we got clapped in the second round, unfortunately. So we took it on a group of looters. It was very easy with the new bow. Back off, stranger. Then we got a quest to kill two more bandit groups. And we made short Sorry. work of them. Sorry. That leveled us to six. And for bow 50, we got Botkin for the armor piercing. We were a little bit behind on our one handed go of 100, so we spent our focus point there. After that, we attempted another tournament, but we got stabbed in the back. The bad streak didn't discourage us, so. We went for another journey in Jaumaris, in which we clapped some lord for the win. Finally got some small upgrades and leveled up, got swift strike and fitting armor. And the focus point went into bow. 
We won another tournament in Zionica and picked up a quest to kill bandits. So that leveled us to 8. And we got the well strapped perk. But another point in endurance. And focus point went into one handed. Let's check our progress. We're actually too renowned from clan tier 1, and after we hire a companion, we'll finish the quest and we'll be able to free our siblings. After that, we picked up another quest to train troops and move to Amitais for another tournament. But this happened. We circled around east and decided to help this dude to find his daughter. Naturally, she ran away with some chat to the nearby village. We failed to talk her into going back and she refused and that happened. She wasn't happy but we finished the quest which got us to 25 charm and level 9. We picked up self promoter finally and spent a focus point in riding. Next thing we have to do is hire a companion. And lucky for us, the Acerai Scholar is in Rotire, right next to us. He's actually a top tier companion, but I'll go more in detail about that in another video. Now that we completed the quest, Radagos tells us where our siblings are, and off we go to save them. We will again use the borrowed troops to finish the side quests. We storm the bandit lair and win E. All borrowed troops survive, so we upgrade them and send them home. The fight finally get us to having going perk so we can sway a lady to marry us. We lose no time and tell Sora that we desperately need her love and her armor. The first set of charm checks, we get all 100% thanks to having going perk. Second time we got solid 72% that gets the job done. Close and we finalize it with her papa for less than 3k gold. This actually gets us to level 10 and we invest a focus point in athletics. Our dear wife has tier 6 armor and helmet along with a tier 6 mount and the best horse armor in the game. Soon after, the Acerai sent us a mercenary contract. But we can go with whoever pays the most. We have a great armor and we got the perks needed to spam tournaments now and start building our wealth going into the mid game. Tell me in the comments if you want me to make another one like that for the mid game. Smash the like button and subscribe to help the channel grow. Thank you very much for watching, Hex out.